Well, here it's been okay, but our surrounding areas was pretty bad. No power, no water. Just roof damage right now. Jermaine Wright and his family fared okay during Hurricane Ian. Yeah. Yeah, but he worries what his daughter will do without school for weeks. It's going to be tough. It's going to have it's going to be a hard thing to find for kids things to do. Right now, we feel like we're on the road to recovery. We're optimistic. DeSoto School District Superintendent Dr. Bobby Bennett has about 4,500 kids to worry about. Schools are closed until further notice after several sustained damage during the storm. Right now, we're wanting people to be healthy and safe. Uh, we'll bring the school piece in and we'll make up the learning loss. We're, we're not scared. We're not going to back off of that piece. We'll we'll do with it very aggressive once we get our kids back in the building. It's sad to be at DeSoto County High School this morning observing the damage that we're going to see today. The school district captured this drone video showing the high school got the worst of it. Hopefully we can get it quicker than the two months we were told yesterday. And they're working on alternative plans to potentially share DeSoto Middle School. You might have to have a schedule that brings middle schoolers in a little bit earlier than normal and dismisses them earlier and bring our high schoolers in for just a couple of hours a day, but we want to be able to have face to face contact with our kids. Jermaine likes the idea yeah. and understands what it takes. The Soto High School is one of my, you know, my first schools um, and seeing it down to get back to normal. It's going to take time, I know, but the community is going to help out. So. Yeah,